A U.S. official tells us tonight that the United States is offering to help Libya buy back sophisticated missiles from the militias that overthrew dictator Muammar Gaddafi. The missiles were unguarded, and now there's worry they could fall into the wrong hands. Elizabeth Palmer found out just how easy those missiles are to come by. Whenever the Libyan government does get hold of a batch of shoulder-launched anti-aircraft missiles, defense technicians systematically disable the guidance systems. But programs like this one are a drop in the bucket. 170 were destroyed here, but thousands are believed missing. The fear is they're finding their way into the hands of smugglers. As this Al-Qaeda training video shows, they are a weapon of choice for terrorists. We went to visit a bunker this fall outside Tripoli, where explosives experts did recover seven vehicle-mounted surface-to-air missiles. But they had to leave at least two behind, wedged under concrete at an unguarded site. Everyone wants these missiles secured. But Libya's government is not enthusiastic about a U.S. plan under consideration to buy them back. A Libyan military source tells CBS News the government doesn't want to create a black market for these weapons. It's just launched its own program to reintegrate the rebel fighters who toppled Colonel Gaddafi. Turn in your weapons, these men are being told, and in return you can have a job, interest-free loans or education. A buyback program might threaten these efforts, especially if rebels believe there's more money to be made selling deadly missiles. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, London. U.S. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta was in Tripoli last week to see whether the U.S. can help the new government form a professional army.